So here is the juice. Hmm. Finally, we unbox our new baby. Yeah, so let's see how it is like. how it looks like yeah uh, I was told okay so let's see how it works my number one love for this uh, juicer is this it can hardly fall because it takes a grip when it you put it down you see it has a proper grip yeah so this is the one you use to push uh, your ingredients then oh then you open on the side like that you lift this then i was told this one you also just lift this one you just lift so we have completely detached it this is the processor the mach the where the, the source of electricity is then these are the four cuts or oh, five this is the nozzle yeah so I'm just going to clean them and then we see how it works so as we wait for the pieces to dry let's just get a feel of what the manual says remember one of the worst thing you can do is use your product without confirming the details from the manual yeah, so some of the biggest mistakes we do is using our electronics before we check what the manual says because what will happen, you might end up using uh, something wrong which will end up messing up your gadget. Maybe you overload, maybe you put it the wrong way and your gadget is messed up. So the first thing is it's showing us how the machine is like i'm not going to read everything right now because i just want us to just give it the first test i will quickly highlight uh the the only problem is that a bigger portion of this document is in a foreign language or does it mean it has okay this seems to have quite a number of languages oh i've just discovered this document has um some parts this fr i'm assuming it's french es uh espanol i don't know whether it's the right way to pronounce it then it has quite a number and then we get here this is english so this is where we get to learn how ours work and it's actually on page 32 so if you ever find yourself with a mulliness don't get i hope i'm pronouncing it right don't get stressed just uh, look for that um, page 32 it gives you guideline so what we have here is a sample of the machine you can see the machine yeah and it has given different features a is a pusher pusher is I'll, i think i will highlight the pieces when i'm using it uh, let me show you when i'm setting it up so we are now ready to set it up let me show you the different parts so we have i would assume this is the motor let me find out how they categorize it j is the motor unit so this is the motor then on top of the motor we're supposed to add this i hope i'm putting it right so let me see that one is called um, okay so let's add this i don't think i'm putting it right yes i think i think it's right so that goes there then 
we put this one inside here we just push it it doesn't have any theoretical way of uh, going back then this oopsie okay they should be aligned because it's going to be clipped on this then you put this one there let's see what it will collect uh, then we put this one at the top like this also ensure it is in line because it's going to clip there yeah so it's now clipped you can see now it's intact okay on this side we have the control system and then this is the nozzle you are supposed to put this one face this hole facing down so we are going to insert it there let's see how it goes and i don't want to force issue and then i mess up yeah so it's a complete set now uh we have this which goes here so let me tell you the names now because we are also learning with you so this yeah so this is a pusher this is a feeding tube this is a cover this the sieve that we have put is actually called a sieve uh, this is a juice collector somewhere here this and then this uh, this is the pouring spout then this at the back here is a pulp container then h are lock handles this one okay then i is the button control button this is the motor unit Okay, it's inside there. It's a drive shaft, the one that uh, drives the machine. And then the last one is anti-slip fit. I had showed you the anti-slip fit. So basically we have everything in place. And then it gives you the fruits and using the appliance. So we quickly just check through. Of course, to wash is very easy, as we have all seen. It's just detaching everything and cleaning it. So it's quite easy for this one. Uh, so it has given you the specifications of what to remove uh, to wash. And then using the appliance, place the juice collector this. No, this. This is the juice collector. Uh, place the sieve in the collector. Fit the cover, lock the two handles, slide the pusher, place a glass under the pouring spout. So I need to put a glass here. Uh, plug in the appliance. We need to connect it to power. To start the appliance, use the control button. Control button is this one. Uh, cut the fruits or vegetable into pieces if necessary after removing the seeds. So you can put with seeds and without, but the key thing is you cut into pieces so that you don't strain your machine. One of the reasons why our machines fail is because we overlook that part. Then insert here on the feeding part, tube and then you have to insert only while the motor is running. So it has to be on when you're inserting. You don't insert, then you turn it on. When you have finished, at you never push, um, do not press too hard on the pusher and do not use any other utensil. If you don't find this, don't start looking for something else to push because you're going to mess your machine. And then you must never push food with your fingers. Remember, this is a motor, so anything can happen and you can hurt your fingers. So you don't want to try that. When you have finished, uh, stop the appliance by turning the control button to zero and wait until the sieve stops completely. So you have to give it some time after you turn it off. 
when the pearl container is full or the juice, juice flow slows down empty the pulp container and clean the sieve and the cover so when you empty this you clean the sieve and the cover and this cover before you do the next process yeah so the items that you need to they have recommended for you to use is apples pears carrots cucumbers pineapple tomatoes celery I have always wanted a juicer so that I can make pineapple juice. So finally we are here. Then do not use the appliance for more than one minute continuously. That is also something else you need to not to overlook. The quality and the quantity of juice varies depending on the freshness of the fruit or the vegetables and variety of each vegetable or fruit is indicated above. So we're going to now test the machine. We have everything intact. So the only thing that is remaining is to connect it to power, which is what we are just about to do. So let me connect it to power. Connected. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does. So our first juice is going to be apple juice. I've cut them into pieces. Yeah, I think there are bigger machines that you can use without cutting. But mine, I just needed a small one for my home use. So, and I cut myself on Mondays, on Sunday. So I'm so scared of the night. So I'm cutting with so much fear. Yeah, so let's try. So they said it has to be on before you put the fruits. And you need to put a glass here. I have forgotten. Let me get a glass. So I think we are ready. So we put it on. Then you can see why you need to put the fruit. And the exact you are like. So we are giving it a few minutes to go off and for two apples this is the amount of juice you get and here is where the residue goes. The juice comes here and there's also a whole mess here because it is a job. I don't know whether I'm supposed to put too many fruits, but with time I will know. So yeah, basically that's how it works. So after some time, I'll give you a review. The reason I chose this one is because it was the only one with just a juicer. I didn't want the other one which comes as a package with other accessories because I have I have most of the accessories that you may need. Yeah, so let me prepare to enjoy my juice. Let's see how it tastes actually. So here is the juice. Hmm, it's amazing. Amazing. Where you actually don't want to stop the fact that it's fresh and it's apple it's very nice yeah so thank you so much for watching this video if you're new kindly consider subscribing if you're returning thank you for always coming back to watch our videos see you on our next one bye